it's going to be racing because I've got nine stitches in my toe and a couple of broken toes, but um, I decided on Thursday I was going to race and just thought I'd send it, assert my dominance. I've been back in Connecticut the past few weeks, but it's warmer than here. <laughs> but here. sun's out now, I mean. Yeah. We're good, we're just pumped for some good conditions and hopefully hopefully lead to some battles. How are you? I think good. Yeah, the must By yourself? Be. I never called. <laughs> Better now that I can I only see. Saw oh. <laughs> we're going. We see in the end of the day. We see tomorrow. Tomorrow is the race, it's not today. So what's gonna be tomorrow workout or we're gonna do tomorrow. This is the point. <laughs> Are you ready to go? GNCC racing! Goggles off. Uh oh. Rear end this of the bike looks like it's down. Do we have a broken linkage? Oh man. And that is raw emotion. Um, they're gonna go to work to try to get this thing fixed, but this puts Stu Baylor very, very much on his back foot.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. A 3-4-2 Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. Craig DeLong will bring out the checkered flag for his third time this season. And as we said earlier, most importantly, he will bring that points lead into Indiana in a couple yeah, of weeks. Us here. Yeah. <laughs> He's got, he's got to make the drive out to Indiana now. But, uh, now, nah, man, what a day. Just uh, start to finish. It wasn't easy, Ryder, Ricky, and they were riding real good, man. And uh, I just couldn't get, <coughs> couldn't get away and just kind of ruined my race. I mean, I knew if I didn't make any mistakes, they were going to have a hard time getting around me. So that's I did as best as I could. To, you know, keep it on two wheels, and that's that's what we did. I got a little bit lucky. I think Ryder went down right here at the end, and kind of gave me a little bit of breathing room right here at the end. So, um, man, what a day! That was uh, unfortunate for Stu. I heard he had some issues and, and was a little bit back. So, you never want to see that, especially the two of us with the with the you know the championship and the, and the battle we got going on. So, bummer for him, but uh, I'm sure the Iron Man he'll be he'll be battling again. So, yeah, I'll take it. It was uh, it was fun. We were um, we were kind of pushing the limits, but not too far. We were the last lap. I was trying to make moves and pass people, and I crashed a bunch trying to make passes. So that kind of hurt us. Craig got away, but Ryder crashed also, and I was able to get by him. And um, it was just hard to pass. It was, we were all going so fast. And, kind of had the fast lines picked out. So I would take other lines and they'd be even or, or a little slower. So um, yeah, I was planning to uh, be close enough in those fields at the end to make some aggressive, hopefully block passes or something, but couldn't make it happen. Went down too much, and pulled her in for a second. It was close right there. Strang was coming hot right at the end and uh, there were some lappers coming through the last few corners that had me worried, but. Happy to hold on to it. I feel really good. I'm excited to go to Ironman because last year I was able to win there. And I like that place, so we'll see. Thank you. <laughs> Few and far between this year, so yeah, it's good, man. I haven't ridden that hard out of Gene to see for I don't know. When you're by yourself, you just you just don't know how hard to push, and I was. Uh, I was with Lyndon and GB there for a bit, and uh, then caught up to Ashburn and then lost two laps. He got me in the rocky section, so I knew the last lap, if I wanted to stay with him, I had to uh, catch him before I got to the rocks, that way I could follow him. And I caught him just enough where I, where I stayed on him, and then, then he, we've, uh, once we got out of the rocks, man, he was on. And uh, I didn't know, I guess Lafferty was up there. Thanks. Uh, and we we caught him. I thought he was a lapper, to be honest. I didn't because I had I kind of forgot he was in he was in our class. And uh, um, we caught him. He must have had a crash or something. And we caught him. Jordan got around him, and then Ricky crashed. I think so. We there was four of us all together, and that was uh, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Uh, definitely, definitely nice to get a win and go on to Indiana with a little bit more of a points lead. It was brutal. I knew, uh, I knew Gus was going to be fast today, and if I got a good start, um, I was going to try and sprint away if I was in the lead. And I was in the lead, and I tried to sprint, and I looked back, and he was right there. And I was like, man, this, this is going to be a long three hours if he's going to stay with me. And I tried a few times to break uh, Gus and Mason, and they were. They were riding awesome. I mean, uh, Gus is who I had to beat today, and I beat him by probably less than a second, so it shows you uh, how close we were. The last lap was a big hammer fest. All right, guys, put your hands together. This is your XC1 podium from the Kanati Tires Buckwheat 100. Oh, they're, they're triple threat. Who's ready to get sprayed? It's the Buckwheat 100 celebration. That is what it is all about right there to the victor. Go the spoils. Uh oh, there it is. Look at that. We love to see it. That is what they've worked so hard for day in and day out. All right, guys, I know they want a photo. Nobody wants to smile in front of a quiet crowd. You got to make a little noise. This is your XC2 podium.